to the new Jericho. It was a jerk water town, maybe 50 miles from the border. Dirt streets, ramshackle buildings. The more think of Jericho, couldn't find anywhere on the map. Jacko, this guy thinks it's a free country. Now you free to go. The sheriff's office is right over there in case you want to complain about anything. The lights off.
outside the window. You know what I'm going to do about it? Not a goddamn thing. But I know what you ought to do. You ought to get your spare, put it on your car, and just drive on out of town. Is that right, Bob? <laughs> you got to forgive old Bob. He ain't much to talk. <laughs> now, hold it. Let me tell you something. If you're really planning on sticking around, don't be coming to me for help. You're on your own here. We already got a fella in the window of the undertaker. Do yourself a favor. First thing, get a fire out. First customer I've seen on a week. You want a whiskey or a beer? Don't have much else to offer. attention to it here. Who oh, 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 you want to call? Your mama. <laughs> Yo, we got phone. But they ain't working since you got to have a switchboard operated to run them. Christian? Uh, yeah, got that. Runs on gas generator. No place they work. Nobody left to fix them if they go bust. Tell the truth, most of what they call decent folks been run off. Really ain't much left here but a ghost town. Some damn sheriff making a profit just staying in the middle, grabbing up both sides. I think Mr. Doyle bought him off first. Or maybe it was Strasser. Who's Strasser? That's the other gang here. Strasser and the Italian fellas. Both gangs took over this town, run off all the regular folks. Came from the same big city. They don't like each other unless pretty lately. You got Strasser at the Sweetwater and Doyle's bunch down to Alamo. They leave me be, they just say to myself. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. What the hell are you doing? Can you see the fellas that wrecked my car? I need to talk to them. I got a real warm reception. And I started thinking maybe this was my lucky day. Cook for a sheriff and two bootlegger outfits that hated each other. Later, I had to make some easy money and move on. What's the secret of unlimited love? The entity still on contract. I'm running a little low of cash. Just wondering if you could maybe help pay the damage. I guess maybe you'll have to kill me. Smart guys know this way out. It's all about rules. Get smuggled through here from Mexico. We're uh, part of a family operation in Chicago. Well, we got here supposed to a civil war. Uh, except now we got a truce. With my guess, this truce ain't gonna last. Especially after Hickey gets back. That's why you're here. Who's Hickey? Hickey? It's Doyle's right hand man. He's a sweetheart. Looks like somebody caught him up at Sunday dinner. Post. Yes. Forget it. <laughs> what about you? You got a name? Huh? Smith. Smith. What? Smith what? Wait, the first name? Gun Smith. <laughs> Gun Smith. All right. Let's go. You on the run? Huh? Where you from, Mr. Smith? Back east. Gun Smith from back east. All right. I heard you wanted to see me. Yeah, that's right. What's the matter? What are you, what, anchored up something important? You're going to nails. Well, this is Lucy. Yeah, so you're a nice girl, so you're a pretty girl. You got a big mouth, but you don't keep it shut, and act very friendly now, right? Lucy, would you please take Mr. Smith to the car? Well, I guess Stryker had himself another bunk. So I'll figure out, dude. Yeah, I'm searching for him. Don't worry, working for Stasi has its advantages, you know, never know. 
the stern and just outside Cicero. Strazzi told me to have sent down here if he felt his morale. I'm still telling him how to call back. I'm trying to keep it delicate, okay? My room's right underneath. Can't wait till the two hours when we're jumping up and down on the bridge. Sunday dinner was a real honor. Strazzi might have been a small town joke and tried to run things like he was somebody important back in Chicago. He had an army of 20 shooters. As far as I could see, most of them were goofballs. It was all right out of some dying novel. seen the real thing and he's not around when I came up. I wasn't sure if he was getting a wooden box ready for me or if he just wanted to say thanks for the business. Well, look who's here. Last time I saw you, you was going to have a talk with some fellas. Next thing I hear, one of them's dead. Conversation's still going down here. You ain't staying with your friends at the street market. There's a room upstairs. Tell you the truth, I can use the money. You got a name? Mine's Joe. Hey, Joe. Let me know when this runs out. I'll give you some more. Yes, sir. Got girls for hire in this town? Hell, yes. You in West Texas. Round corner. Third door on the left. You better not fool them. He was never quiet as you know. But you two almost look like brothers, except he had tattoos. I think that he was in the Navy. Yeah. yeah. And he used to come and see me every Friday or Saturday night. His name was Tony. I had a lot of fun in there that night. Sorry, as I came to this all because there's nothing to do here. Well, I every kind of dance class and I've been because I want uh, to be a dancer and but I came here because of the Jesus runs the place where I could find you. 
Where are we headed? Two to join outside of town. Strazzy wants everybody there. He's gonna make another speech. You don't keep me too well informed. Giorgio's always acting like he's in charge because he's the son of somebody important. Strazzy's boss in Chicago. Strazzy and Giorgio are really cousins. Strazzy don't admit it though. My family, man. What's the lady on here? Slim's with a fast 20 minutes out across the desert. Two stories of wood in the middle of nowhere. It was the kind of place that looked like the special was chicken fried steak. Well, Strazzy told me that Giorgio and the other guys got a real hot head about the kind of money you get. Giorgio don't like you too much, in case you haven't noticed. Why does he like Slim's girlfriend to come find me? Strazzy figures I wouldn't be dumb enough to do anything out of line, so he sent me. Well, that must make you feel real proud. Put me in a shit wheel, all right? You get enough of that from Strazzy, thank you. Sure, you're not dumb enough to do anything out of line? I'm just curious. Your boyfriend got a place now? Yeah. But only in the bedroom. As usual, she was trying to act tough. But I could see it was paper thin. Even with a second layer like Strauss, she was in the way of her head. For Christ's sweet sake, it took you too long enough. Kiss my hands. Man, you're not psyched, Jojo. Hard to drive, man. Like you said, what took you so long? Maybe you don't hear too good if it's raining. You know something? You get me more of a wise-ass Polak every day, and it ain't so cute no more. You know what happens to wise-ass Polak dames? They get their wise-ass kicked. I was in my sewer house door, saw a couple guys are busy. You killed two more Doyle's guys. Is that bullshit or is that true? Like, I don't give a damn about Doyle. He lost two men tonight, that's good news. Doyle's trying to outbid me with my own suppliers, you little bastard. Man, after I did business with him, it's bullshit. Now, we got a shipment coming in from Monterey next week. Mr. Doyle has got one coming in from Monterey. This is the weirdest stuff to bring you in. That's 200 grand in our books. Of course, you know what's really cost? We get to those trucks. You know how hard it is to buy a truck in Mexico? We crossed the border a couple hours before dawn. Strazi had come up with a plan that he thought would make him look good for the big boss back in Chicago. It involved hijacking, murder, corruption of the military. Let's take a meeting right out front. Might be a good time for you guys to give up. Bueno, amigos, señores, nuestro armas. I'm gonna send Smith back to the center to keep an eye on the door. You stay with the trucks till they get to Matamoros. Bacalos. Thinking about the drugs, I didn't realize that that girl was. I could get your deputy here. I didn't realize that it was a regular joint until we knew about it. You said no question about it. I had to ask the cops though. If you talk to any suspicious fellow, anybody, he has a little rough on the last day. He should have changed it. I was in my bag. So I was going to go for it. He tipped me off. Got a bus comes through this town? Yeah, a minute. Every day. Make sure she gets on it. That's some information you may want to sell to Mr. Doyle. She's going to find out soon enough that you might be the one to give it to him. That's a shipment of booze they come in from Mexico to hijack off some bad Doyles. Shit like that ought to be worth at least a grand. Well, you better be right. Because if Doyle should send Hickey after me, he's coming directly for you. Yeah, keep hearing about Hickey. Sounds like a real scary guy. Why don't you play just house scare? They got us that when he was 10 years old, gets a butcher knife and cuts his father's throat from ear to ear. Then they stick him in an orphanage. 15 years old, he burns it to the ground. 
Thought you were just a guy who did things for money. I'm just a guy who did a lot of things for money. Are you gonna see it from the pool? Yeah. You cheated me. You don't know the half of it. Let me tell you, I didn't have to take it from you for that offense. It's not like Chicago and the first thing I ever hear the rules. <laughs> it's so funny. Every day, Strauss would talk to me. Like Reese Paul? It's a hell of a thing. No, Strauss is a hell of a thing. So true. So? Strauss would tell you to stay in the other room. Or he'd make you work and eat your hands or something. You're gonna tell me why you would do such a nice thing? Charles and George are going to be back the next day. Well, I smell the real money. It's going to come from up in Doyle's side of the street. They'd make the first move. Yeah. The boy wants you to come work for us full time. How much are you going to put in? Find me. $1,000. A week or a day? It's bringing it back. I know for being stupid. Hey, dummy! Bring us your best stuff. Yes, sir, Mr. Doyle. Right away, sir. I know you already got the job working for Strike, but I figure you look the kind of guy that goes to the highest bidder. Just like those Mexicans. I suppose the guy with my boom. You only care about the money, Trey. I mean it as a compliment. That's why we're all here. Yes, I do. Well, you heard about Hickey, huh? Yeah, I heard he talks kind of funny. Yeah, well, that's the way it sounds. Like somebody slices your face, jams an ice pick in your voice box. Hickey can get awful messy. This should be an inside job. We need somebody nice and neat like you. Making a mistake. You're just not very smart. What the hell are you holding back for? You think I'm meek? You're gonna inherit the earth? If they do, you won't be there to enjoy. I might have been a gun for hire, but I wasn't exactly an assassin. Maybe they don't think it got really much difference. Well, Hickey ain't said a lot. If I was gonna get into Doyle's wallet, I needed something big this time. Giorgio's a half-wit. You really want to get killed for a half-wit?
Thomas Fedora like turns Strozzi down. Damn, that was great. I guess it don't work for Strassi no more. I'll see you, Jake. Working for Strassi did about played itself out. Until Vicky showed up, I was out of moves. I decided to dry out a little. Went two days without a drink. For me, that's pretty good. Sitting out here in the open, this might not be a real good idea for a fellow that's got as many enemies as you got. Well, everybody likes him. Such a nice guy. This is Mr. Doyle's girl. Bringing her back from church. I guess going to church makes you feel better about keeping company with Mr. Doyle. All right, honey? You don't want to miss out on the big money. This little war with Strauss is going to be over soon. Okay. We got problems. Strauss, he broke the truce. Hit our trucks in Mexico, killed all the guys. Jack, the whole load. Hey, where's my car? Well, I'll fix that. Uh, in it, dude. I'll fix that headlight. Just good as new. Except for that windshield. Order new glasses, it's gonna take a while. It's covered. Twenty dollars, that's way too much. But I got some information I'll trade you for the change on it. A fella come around here asking me about your car. I wanted to look at the registration and check your name. What'd you tell him? I didn't tell him nothing. He just went on ahead and looked anyway. But guess what? You can find that registration here. That's right. <laughs> you can keep that change. Is that a service name was? He didn't say, but I know who it was. One of them Italian boys been hanging around town named George. Giorgio. Who's this, Giorgio? Yeah, who's this? You remember me. The high paid nobody. I got a message from Strasi. Yeah, but we don't need any messages from jerks like you, all right? Don't be stupid. Just because I don't work for you doesn't mean I can't be a friend. I don't want to see your boss get hurt. Yeah. You know, I'm telling the floor manager he's the one that hijacked his shipment. Cousin, watch his ass. The Italians were winning in New York and Chicago. They weren't doing too good in Jericho. A little past nine, that Matt caught up with Giorgio leaving town. You could almost see a price tag hanging on his head. I just came by to tell you that I'm in Strasbourg when I get up this morning. I got an investment bank. Day. You can forget about the other day like it never happened, right? I mean, it was just one time for fun, right? Just some tips. I'm gonna get myself in the middle of anything here. Strozzi's gonna keep blowing up. So I think George is sneaking out town. Where's he headed? He went to Emerato. He's gonna land next door. But he always does. Drinks messes around, goes to whorehouses. Just 
Inspiration. Just the future, and we're gonna next story. I see Avengers building mirrors, and we're gonna need a mirror too. We'll pay back with a hijack, but it's still a story. Good, keep talking. Basically, copying it too. It's just responsibility for security on this side of the border. So, this is gonna be paid to by the FBI and next shipment. I use your trust. You know, I really appreciate it. Just to have information that's just valuable to people in the world. Judging is very important to stress. Something were to happen to him. Be very bad for stress. Don't you think? Take as much as you want. You work for me now. Just take the two thousand you agreed to. You work with us. We were the winners. Anything else is stupid. Smith. At least that's what he says. He's sick. I told him about you. Tell me all about it. I'm hearing about you all the time, actually. Especially when I go work in the store. Except I don't act like it. When I don't go to cameras. I told you about it. You shot some of my guys. I guess you did. What did you deserve? Town was celebrating some saints day, which meant everybody would get a drink. I work out. Bill took my bait and sent a car due south the next morning. He didn't have to be real smart to guess who the passenger was. Couple miles from here, walk to. How do we come out here? Well, it lets me be alone here. It's the only place they don't watch me. Honestly, you've been lonely lately. 
year ago, my husband gambled on this trip. After he left me, he went back across the border. It was a shame. I blame didn't for my dad. I was the guy I love was the boy. And the other was the magician. But fear is my curse. There's a uh, fella here to come to see you. John Smith, uh, meet Captain Tom Pickett. He, uh, he's the head ranger here in my district. He uh, generally just comes down when... Uh, sure, there's no. Sit down, Mr. Smith. Now, see, Mr. Smith and I are going to have a little... We've got a lot to talk about tonight. I want to hear about a murdered policeman who got himself killed on the side of the river in some crime in Mexican town. You wrote for the kill, too. And a double dealing commandante named Ramirez. But the man I'm concerned about was an American on a border patrol. He had a family. Well, like uh, brother officers, I guess he strayed a little bit in some departments, but he was an officer of the law, just the same. You know anything about his death, sir? No, I don't think so. That's all right. Well, it hardly seems possible. Mr. Ball here says you'll be well informed on what happens around here. You say I did it? I asked you your name that one, not what you did. The crime has been solved, sir. Mexican police picked up two armed victims in the state of Florida just across the border. They handed them over to us. They ain't confessed yet. Who did? I just can't get past the idea that maybe one of these two Pete Bent guns had something to do with it. I learned a long time ago to trust no man's thoughts. Now listen real carefully, because here's the point, sir. Things in this town are out of control. Two things is just one too many. I'm not like this. I know a lot of things that people do are awful low, but that's between them and God. Do you believe in God? I believe in God, sir. But what I'm concerned with is keeping a lid on things. And what we got here in Jericho is just way out of hand. And Sheriff Gold here, he can't do much about it, right? Matter of fact, it might be fair to say he's part of the problem. Now, you don't want to have to play playing both sides for me, Mr. Gold here. Make yourself a lot of money out of all this. Well, it's over, son. I'm coming back here in 10 days. I'm going to bring about 20 rangers with me. I will tolerate one gang, because that is the nature of things. A certain amount of corruption is inevitable. But if I find two gangs here, when I get back there in a couple of hours, there will be no gangs here. So it's simple. One gang quits and goes home. You boys work it out. I don't give a damn which one. It's just as long as one side loses, or maybe one side loses. That's fine, too, son. Kill as many as you want. Just don't kill no innocent people out here. I wouldn't like that. It was real nice talking to you. Likewise, sir. Only one more thing. When I come back, if I was you, I'd be gone. Bill Strazzy got his boy George here. Told him once and back to bring us a hundred thou, I could have crossed him at the five mile road. Told him to make it three in the afternoon. Trucks. Oh yeah, and we'll give you two days to give us our trucks back. All the vultures showed up for the exchange. If I was honest, I guess I'd have to include myself in the roll call. But if there was a hundred grand being handed over for Giorgio, I wanted to take a real good look at it. Stick around. You get the briefcase, you let go of the rope.
She had enough of Jericho and was too broke to buy a bus ticket out. I slipped her 500 bucks. Usually I wasn't such a sucker, but somebody had smacked her around pretty good. It's been a real bad night. Ever since his cousin got you to bump for that girl. Been fighting with Giorgio, acting like a real jerk. Yelling at anything that gets near him. I never seen him drunk before. He was really in the bad ones tonight. What'd you do? I called him a name. So he slapped me, slugged me a couple of times. Threw my clothes out on the street. So I figured I'd get even. I told him he got me in the end. No guy is going to ever want to mess with me again. <laughs> Face it, Lydia. You look so old. How is this going to heal up? Like you said, I got a big mouth. Yeah, the big guys pulled me down. Told Giorgio to slice it off. They were real drunk. But everything you ever did to me, you did on purpose, right? Right? You finish all your business inside with the little princess? Shh. Make sure she's not a fuss. You know something, amigo? I think I just spotted the chink in your armor. When you go down, it's gonna be over a skirt. Most of my life I made my own rules. You don't do any favors, you don't ask for any. Monster percentages. But you can know the rules and still do the wrong thing. The only thing I knew for sure was this. Strazi, Dora, and every son of a bitch who worked for me. They're all gonna be better off dead. There's a somebody out here to see Mr. Dora. Job. You must smell a winner. Get a thousand in advance. Not just about that much. Oh, you good. Put that goddamn gun away! Put it away! Save it for Stasi! Got some new trigger men coming to town tonight. When do you hear all this? Well, it's just a rumor. Want to check it out? I want you and Hickey here with me. Stasi's got new help coming in. Chance sorry, he's gonna try to rush us here. 
you go out to the country. Check on her. She means a lot to you. And cool can tell you how to get there. Looks like the same thing for the Where's the girl? When you found him out here, why didn't you drive back to town and tell us instead of just waiting out here? I think the girl ran off in a freight storm. Stick around, you can watch her come back.
We gotta hit Strazzy soon. Get her back. We need to get this thing out of here. And we're gonna be fine soon, I promise. Because Strazzy is not working. Straight south into Mexico. Get her dressed up and ready to go. Yes, sir, I'll do her. But pretty soon you're gonna be on your own. Come next week, I'm getting the hell out. Ain't no business here. This town is finished. Why would a guy lie? It's a bigger question on how she got away. Big question. No, I mean, we're done. If we had been a fool, there's no way she must have missed about you.
you out don't make a hell of a lot of sense. But I'm betting on the Ranger. I know if the big money days are just about done, but don't kid yourself, boys. You can still come down real hard. Mr. Smith, I will help hide you. But I prefer you be unarmed and on your way to hell out of this town. That move you made for Doyle's little honey in this league, that'll get you broke and dead. Both at the same time. The fire dies down. Go inside. Pull out Smith's body. You can find it. He's gotta be dead. He didn't come out. Everybody in there's gotta be dead. Church. The bill for helping the Indian cabal 
we were kicking the ribs, broken nose. One eye mashed up pretty good. But all I needed was a gun. So time to heal. Joe got caught making his daily run. The food, the bandages, they just gave him away. Vicky? No. McCool and a couple other guys. Vicky and Doyle are in Mexico. Doyle's still looking for that half-breed Indian girl. I mean, is that a persistent little bastard or what? Where did we take Joe? They're all over at Strozzi's Hotel. Doyle moved them all over there after winning the war. Think that you're gonna fight anybody with that? Go get a gun with it. That's the only help you're gonna get.
Joe and I sat up all night waiting for Hickey and Doyle. When this thing got started, all I wanted to do was make some money. Somewhere along the way, it all got personal. You know, for a guy with no principles, sometimes you act kind of peculiar. You're doing my show, Joe. I was just trying to say thank you. Thank you, I should have started running. How's your wound been? Doctor to hear any more just across the river in Mexico. I'm sure you will. Go back in. Fast back on. Stay here. Me fooled. You would have thought you burned up with the rest of them. Nah, I'm back. It's always time to come back to something like this. What you thinking about me when you're dying? What's the like going on you? Now hold it. You get you a doctor. Get your patched up. You're gonna run this town with us. I need you. I'm not that fight. We need a doctor. Now wait. We don't need the guns. You and me and Hickey, we won this war. We're survivors. We won. We won. <laughs> I haven't found the girl yet. You know the girl? You must know where she is. You think we can still find her? We can go to Mexico. She's up there in the mountains. Some little village. She had a kid. A little girl. I gotta get her back. I'm telling you, we can be partners! <laughs> Did. 
Goddamn. I wasn't real sure this old gun would still shoot. Don't you got yourself a new car. 